Hey everyone, welcome to a quick tutorial of how to add VFX in your videos on DaVinci Resolve. So here we have, this is just a still image, but this principle works for video as well. Now, this would be more for if you had a static shot, so if your camera was not moving at all, there was no motion, um, then this is a really quick, easy method to add VFX to your video. So let's say this was a camera shot, and it's just a video of a, this alien-like building, not moving and we wanted to add snow. So I've got my snow asset, I've already drug it in from uh, downloading from a website, and we are going to go to the Fusion page, and now you'll see Media uh, In, Media Out. So Media In is the image, it's or the, it will be the video, whatever you use, and the Media Out is the end result. So right here you'll see two white dots. I have the end result in the second uh, hole there, so the second, the dot is on the right, that means this screen right here is the second screen and I'm seeing the finished result. So up here, here's our snow. We're gonna drag that down, drag your asset down, whether it's snow, fire, rain, lightning, whatever. Um, we're gonna bring it down. And then the easiest way to do this, now you, you may wanna color it, make it blurry, depending on your shot, whatever. For this case, we're gonna keep it very simple. We've brought the snow down. Now what I wanna do is I wanna add a transform node, which is right here. And I wanna add a merge node, boom. So. What we're going to do after that is go back to the snow clip, which is going to be this media two, right? Because we drug it down. And you're going to notice when you uh, using shift, holding down shift and dragging the um, dragging the merge node, you'll see that locks in. So we just want to reconnect the transform. And then now you'll see that the snow is there, but it's a it stops at some point and then b you can't see through it so how do we fix these well obviously you don't want the snow to stop you want it to be through the whole video or the whole shot so when you go back to media 2 over here on the right under tools you're going to see loop so hit that and now the snow will not stop it will keep looping that clip over and over and over and over again Okay, depending on the smoothness of the clip and how different the start and the end of the clip are, it may jump, that's a different video, but for this purpose, we just want it to keep snowing and we're not gonna worry too much about that. So transform node here, what that does is that messes with the size of the image. So let's say we imported it and it's only this big. Well, the transform node will allow us to make it bigger. Let's say we wanna you know, just move it around the shot. We need, you know, the snow somewhere else, or this was fire, and we wanted the fire down in this tree right here to show the trees catching on fire, we would mess with that. You can also do it right here and move it down. Um, so that's what the transform allows you to do. It allows you to uh, move the image as needed. For our case, we want to take up the whole image, but we still can't see through. Why is that? Remember, we're looking at the final product. So all of this combined going to the media out. So let's go to our merge node, and here you're gonna see apply mode. So right now it's normal. That's not gonna work. So under, hit down, and they've already got it pretty much at the top for you. You can play with these other ones, they do all kinds of different things, but for most VFX purposes where you you know buy them off a website and bring the asset in, a lot of them are gonna pop up like this. Just go to your, uh, under tools, you're gonna to go to your apply mode, uh, and you're gonna hit screen. And now we can see through it. Uh, you can make it, you know, uh, you can mess with the gain so the snow's not so powerful. You can blend it more into the image. Uh, you can do pretty much whatever you like with it under this merge node. So now when we play it, it will be snowing. There you go. Sorry, hard drive took a second. But here you go. So now we've got it snowing and it's on a loop. And if you wanted to, you could add another layer. Uh, another VFX shot of, you know, a little mini fire over here. Just make it really small and put a flame. Uh, you could do lights flashing. You can do whatever you want. Just keep doing them down uh, to the right. And it's just a very quick way if you wanted to add something like this to an image or a video that doesn't move. There you go, guys.